jacket. <laughs> jacket so powerful that it has gotten us through two world wars, a nuclear holocaust, and the last airbender. That's right, Dan Ashworth. Oh. <laughs> anyway, despite the appeal of the leather jacket, it is very difficult not to look like a douche while wearing one. We are here to show you the tips and tricks on how not to look like a douche while wearing a leather jacket. Rule number one for not looking like a douche while wearing a leather jacket is you cannot actually be a douche. Goes without saying, really. Now before we go any further, you can get a free pass to wear a leather jacket and not look like a douchebag if you fall under the following categories. One, you can own a motorcycle. You just can't talk about it. I drive a KC double 9000 Kawasaki Road Helper. You drive a Volvo wagon. With wood paneling on the side. Yeah, but I go really fast. Fast! You fast look like fast. you have osteoporosis. Now sit down before you crap your pants. Where's your walker? You can also get a free pass for a leather jacket if you're under the age of 12. You're not trying to make a statement, you're not trying to be Steve McQueen or Snake Plissken from Escape from L.A. You're just a kid. You're most likely put in it by your parents. My poo smells like Oreos. And your poo smells like Oreos. You can also earn a free pass if you're handicapped. Wearing a leather jacket is a statement. It shows that I'm proud of myself no matter how people view me. You know what? More power to you. I jumped off a second floor building trying to kill myself. I'm not saying you're not stupid. I'm saying you get a free pass. And now on to some things that confirm that you're a douche when wearing a leather jacket. Number one, no toothpicks. Unless you're coming out of Izzy's Pizza or it tastes like sunshine dust, you have no reason to have a toothpick in your mouth. That's for not listening, douche. Two, and most importantly, you cannot have chains of any kind on you or near you while wearing a leather jacket. What? Because it screams douche. But they make you look so badass, right? How many Mountain Dews did you have to drink to get that thing? 387. And I robbed the bank to get these. I left the pens, though, because I'm not an asshole. You look like a less cool MC Hammer douche. How can you be a less cool MC Hammer? <laughs> if people still think you're a douche and all else has failed, put on a smile. Unless your smile alters bird migration, then I suggest crying. Just watch Schindler's List. You'll have a ball. And no one will think that you're a douche. You're always so mean! Well, at least he's not a douche. To me! Oh, ball sack. Or you could just be a good person and help out your fellow man. What the hell are you supposed to be? I'm the magical gnome of town. I dance and dance and dance around. When I'm not in my garden, I like to do crazy shit. <laughs> okay, what does that have to do with leather jackets? I just really wanted to wear this. I see the douchebag thing. But what does that have to do with leather jackets? We got it at Goodwill for $3.99, and I'm just thinking I really wanted to put this one on. You saved a kitten from the tree. You look like a spokesperson for Sleepy Time Tea. I've been working on that. Now go over there and do a floor exercise. I'll give you a ribbon. I feel degraded. So that brings us to the end of the video. Yeah, so now you know what makes a douche while wearing a leather jacket. What makes a douche to you in general? Leave a comment or video response below. Please leave a video response. See you guys next time.